Welcome to another installment of Micro Center Shows You How. Today we're going to walk, talk about Google Voice, uh, its benefits, how to set it up. Uh, it's a pretty cool features. So, here you are. You have lots of numbers. You have your home number, where your friends and family like to call you and you call from them. You have your work number, where your colleagues and some of your friends and family call. You have your cell phone, and well, if you have an iPhone from AT&T, you probably really can't use it as a phone. So most likely, you probably have either another phone or you switched over to Verizon. So you have all these numbers. Uh, how do people get a hold of you? Of course, they can email, but at the same time, if they need to talk to you, which one do they call? When do they call it? Do they call from a whole bunch of them? It's got to be an easier way of doing it. Um, and there actually is a much easier way, and that is Google Voice. They can take one number and allow all the numbers you have to ring, certain ones at certain times, however you want to customize that, you're able to be getting a hold of, basically. So Google Voice, uh, there's one number for life, you don't have to remember which number to, to add to. So you have all numbers can ring, uh, you definitely get free SMS text messaging, sadly you don't get the photos or videos yet, uh, voicemail transcription, which is awesome. Um, and free incoming and outgoing calls, at least for the year 2011, for U.S.-based uh, folks, uh, you can make and receive phone calls right from the gmail.com website. So let's show some cool demos. Um, first, um, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, a Google Voice account. So uh, you want to go to google.com backslash voice. And then if you already have a Google account, type that in. If you do not, create an account on the bottom of that. Um, I'm going to use mine here. So the first time you sign in with that Google account, if you've never done Google Voice before, it's going to ask you to choose a number. So I'm going to start choosing it by area code. Um, I'm going to choose 314 because it's a St. Louis-based area code, and it gives you a wide range of numbers. Um, you can also actually try to have fun with it um, and put in words, phrases, um, or specific numbers you're looking for, um, which is pretty nifty. Now keep in mind you can't port over your current cell phone into Google Voice. They don't allow that. They do allow the other way though. You can port over our Google Voice number to your cell phone to have it as your primary number. Um, go onto their website and read more about that. So I'm gonna choose one number now. Um, I'm gonna enter or create a pin. This is pretty standard practice for any type of setting up voicemail for the first time. You're used to this if you have a cell phone already. Uh, we're gonna hit continue. Uh, and then we're gonna have our main number. Um, what number do you want it to dial? So you would choose this number as your cell phone number, your home phone number. What's that first actual phone that you actually have a number for this to dial to? So when someone calls your Google Voice number, what do you want to ring? So I'm just going to put a junk number in here. Um, and, and you're going to have to verify each phone to make sure that you just don't put your friends or your ex-girlfriend's number in there and annoy the crud out of her. So um, we're going to verify that. All right, now we're going to actually use the Google Voice app on the iPhone uh, to make a call. And we'll see two phones ring and also uh, on Gmail uh, actually do a voice chat uh, from the actual browser. So let's do this. We're going to hit call. That is going to start calling through that iPhone. We'll see on the screen. that it wants to do an incoming call. We'll see on the home phone, an incoming call, and then cell phone, all at the same time. Now we're gonna try the visual voicemail feature, which is actually pretty cool. So we're gonna call. So it's calling there. I only set up one phone to ring now. We'll put this on speaker. And we see that ringing, and I'm just going to swipe this. And this should go to voicemail. Thanks for calling. I'm not here. You know what to do. Hey, Don. This is Don. How about we try this out? Two one four three five six. Thank you. So that was kind of a just a random letters and numbers, and kind of a basic conversation. And now I'm going to refresh that. 
So notice that it noticed a call come through instantly, 55 seconds ago, and it's actually doing the transcription in progress automatically. So this is from the browser, from any browser. Um, you can go to googlevoice.com or google.com backslash voice. Let's refresh this, and there it is. So it says, hey, John, this is Don. We tried this out, 214356. Thank you. So was it perfect? No. Was it close enough for you to get the gist? Yes. And we can listen to it. I don't know if you could hear that, but that's actually pretty darn close, and you can listen to the voicemail at any time, which is pretty nifty.